Support for today's show comes from JobScan. JobScan is a site that's going to take a look at your resume and you're going to copy and paste the job description into another field. It's going to make a comparison and give you a sense of how your resume matches up and makes recommendations for how to fix it. Again, use the link in the show notes. You'll get better results on each resume submission you make. And with that, we'll be back in one moment. 2,224 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome back to Monday. And uh, today's show is one where I answer a question from someone. What do recruiters look for when they're trying to fill a position? Hope you find the show helpful and give it an honest review wherever you listen to it. It is in a lot of places. We are in Apple Podcasts, of course, Amazon Music, Google Play, Spotify. I have to say almost any podcast player has the show. It comes out Monday through Friday at midnight, and um, it has advice that will help you throughout your search. And we'll be back in just one moment. Support for today's show comes from CareerFitter. CareerFitter will help you evaluate other career possibilities for yourself. Order the premium version using the link below. Take 10 minutes, answer 60 questions, I believe it is, and they'll give you some ideas that will get you thinking. And that's really what you want to be doing. Having outside input help you think about ideas. So again, use the link in the show notes, order the premium version. What do recruiters look for when seeking candidates to fill a role? How can a person increase their chances of being selected? What recruiters, either corporate or third-party recruiters for, uh, whether corporate or third-party recruiters are looking for, are people with, number one, the skills needed to perform the job. Thus, your resume and LinkedIn profile have to demonstrate that to them. That's number one. How can you increase your chances of being chosen? Make the fit obvious to them. As though a six-year-old is reading the resume, because you know the fact of the matter is everyone's busy, and they don't want to go to page three to find relevant information. They're never going to page three. Make it prominent within no more than one page down when they're looking at something on their screen, so that in this way, they know that you can do this job. And if you're applying through an applicant tracking system, I always encourage people to make page one of the resume the cover letter. And to use a format for cover letters that you know, some people call it a T-square. There are other names for it. But it's the idea on page one, you list the requirements of the position and the functionality of the role and demonstrate how long and how recently you've done it. So let's say if you're a developer um, and you indicate a particular technical skill, flush left, that's in the job description or in the ad, flush right, you talk about how long and how recently you've done it. They're going to want you to do this. You put that in the flush left, flush right, how long and how recently. Omit things that you haven't done, okay? And by making it page one on an application, and by the way, try to avoid applying for jobs. You're just competing with too many people. The goal is to cut the line. But if you don't know how to do this, you know, and you're going to apply, this is the way to do it. So page one of the resume is stuffed with relevant keywords, which makes the applicant tracking system think of you as a better fit. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few things I can do to help you with your job search beyond simply being your coach. First of all, I've got a new book out called The Right Answers to Tough Interview Questions. It is like a cookbook with answers to tons of interview questions that you're going to be asked on interviews. And if you pair it up with my other new book, The Ultimate Job Interview Framework, they are a a terrific pair of books to help you with interviewing. In addition to a new service where you can practice mock interviews, if you go to thebiggamehunter.us 
forward slash mock. I've got a service there, very inexpensive, like $99, where we have mock interviews set up. I'm going to be adding more to it very soon, but you can record your answers to them and then I can critique them and help you perform better on them. You probably have noticed my show notes are pretty thorough with products and services that can help you with your search and connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Lastly, my website has a ton of great information. That's thebiggamehunter.us. Now, if you're not ready to go there and go through the blog, put the address in your phone, thebiggamehunter.us, Jeff Altman. So this way, when you're ready to go, you have a way of getting back to my website. Hope you have a terrific day. And most importantly, be great. (laughs) 